helpful for all of you guys in order to become the, like a good Salesforce developer. And that topic is collections. In order to explain you collections, I'll take a very simple example. Imagine you've got a lot of papers and you want to store all of those papers at a single place so that whenever you want any like any paper you just refer to that place and you access the paper that you want so that place is basically a shelf where you put all those papers and you refer to that shelf uh, whenever you want to access any of the papers that are there similarly if you want to store like sugar cubes so you need a specific jar for that right so like that jar is a place where you're storing multiple sugar cubes together and whenever you want a sugar cube you will refer to that particular jar it's exactly similar in programming languages for collections so collections are basically used to store similar information together so like if you want to store multiple integers together you're gonna use a collection if you want to store multiple strings together you're gonna use a collection if you want to store multiple accounts together you're gonna use a collection so the definition of collection is that collections are basically used to store similar type of information together so in programming languages whenever there comes a situation in which you need to store same type of information that's like yeah same type of information together so that you can access it with that same reference variable you're going to go with collections in apex we have got three basic collections number one list number two sets number three maps collections are of multiple types in different different programming languages and depending on the situation we use that that particular type of collection and these collections are uh, nothing but the data structures in uh, in which we store yeah information in different different formats and with different different properties in apex there are only three collections that we have got number one is a list number two is a set number three maps so without wasting any further time let's go and learn about the first collection that we have got in apex which is list